Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve another block diagram reduction problem. To start with, in order to solve this type of problems, it is must to know the block diagram reduction rules. So I will give the link in the description. Kindly see the rules once, then it will be easy for you to solve this problem. So the problem is, the block diagram of a closed loop system is shown in figure. Using block diagram reduction technique, determine the closed loop transfer function. C of S by R of S. C of S is the output and R of S is the input. So, this is our given block diagram. And this block diagram has two summing points, right? S1, S2. And how many branch points are there? 1, 2 and 3. Okay. So, now our step 1 is splitting the summing point S2. Here you see to this S2 it has 3 inputs right plus plus and minus. Now I am going to split this summing point. So here the summing, summing point is splitted into plus plus and another, another one as plus minus. So this is our first step. Hope you people understand this right. And the remaining things remain as such here. The ne next one is step 2. Here from this diagram it is clear that this G2 of S and H2 of S forms a loop. Right. This is your feed forward element and this is your feedback element and the type of feedback is negative. So what is the basic formula? The basic formula for reducing a feedback loop is Generally, it is given as G divided by 1 plus GH. When the feedback is negative, we have to write it as 1 plus. Right. So, here in the place of G, I am having G2 of S. And in the place of H, I am having H2 of S. So, just when you apply this rule, you will be having in the place of G, G2 of S. Right. So, G2 of S divided by 1. Type of feedback is negative. So, plus Again, GH. So, in the place of G, I am having G2 of S. And again, in the place of H, I am having H2 of S. Right. So, now this feedback loop is reduced. This is our answer. And here comes our second step. And the next one is moving the summing point S1 after the block G1. So, here, listen. We are going to move this summing point after this block G1. Right. So what is the rule to move this summing point after this block is we are moving this line. Right. I am going to move this summer point and to this summing point I am having this line which is connected. So when I am moving this summing point after this block I have to include the element which is present here. So here G1 of S is here. So, when I am moving the summing point after this block G1, I have to include G1 of S in this line. Right. So, here I have to include G1 of S because I am moving the summing point from here to here. The next step is interchanging the summing points and combining blocks in cascade. So, here from this diagram you see these two blocks are in cascade connection. So, just we have to multiply these two elements. So, when you multiply you will be having H1 of S into G1 of S. And now these two summing points are get interchanged. That is this summing point moves here and this summing point moves here. Right. So, here when you move this summing point over here, this line, that is this line will come over here, right? Listen. So, here this H1 of S, G1 of S is connected to this summing point. So, when this summing point moves here, automatically this H1 of S and G1 of S will move along with the summing point here. So, maybe I can write this one as a Roman letter 1 and Roman letter 2. Now, 2 comes here and 1 goes here. That's it. Right. Hope you are clear with this. And our next step is, so in this diagram you see, this is your feed forward element and this is your feedback element. Right. So the next step, I am going to reduce this feedback loop. Let us see how. So 
So eliminating the feedback loop and here this is our element which are present there, present there. So in the place of G I am having this one and in the place of H I am having this one. So the basic formula is G divided by 1 plus GH right. So in the place of G I am having this one so right you will be having G2 of S divided by 1 plus G2 of S into H2 of S G the whole divided by 1 plus again G. So this becomes G2 of S divided by 1 plus G2 of S into H2 of S which is multiplied by again the place of H I am having this element. So you will be having G1 of S into H1 of S. Right. So when you take LCM you will be having G2 of S divided by 1 plus G2 of S into H2 of S. The whole divided by when you take LCM this term will get multiplied with this 1. So you will be having 1 plus G2 of S H2 of S plus again you have to multiply these three terms right. So you will be having G1 of S H1 of S into G2 of S again this entire term will be divided by this one 1 plus G2 of S into H2 of S. Right. Again, the denominator terms are equal. So, they get cancelled each other. And the remaining terms will be our answer. So, the answer will be, I am writing here in this block. You will be having G2 of S divided by 1 plus G2 of S into H2 of S plus G1 of S G2 of S into H1 of S. So this is our reduced block diagram. And the next step is here you see combining blocks in parallel. So here in this case this block G1 of S and this path. Okay these two are in parallel. So when we have a path with no element you have to assume that there is a block with value 1. Right. So here this G1 of S starts at this point and ends with the summer here and again this one block starts again with the same point and ends in the same summer. So these two blocks are said to be in parallel. So when parallel blocks are combined we should add the elements. So here you will be having 1 plus G1 of S. Right here this block comes here as such. So you will be having G2 of S. 1 plus G2 of S into H2 of S plus G1 of S, G2 of S into H1 of S. Right. So, now our final step is, it is clear, right? These two blocks are in series. So, when blocks are in series, we have to just multiply. So, when you multiply, you will be having this expression as G2 of S into 1 plus G1 of S. The whole term divided by this expression. That is you will be having 1 plus G2 of S into H2 of S plus G1 of S, G2 of S and H1 of S. So this is our final transfer function. So again this is your R of S and this is your C of S. So C of S by R of S is G2 of S into 1 plus G1 of S the whole divided by 1 plus G2 of S into H2 of S plus G1 of S G2 of S into H1 of S. So this is our final answer. Hope you all understand this problem. Thank you.